Hi everybody, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel and welcome to the Crumbs and Doilies kitchen here in London. If this is your first video, then welcome to the channel and lucky you, we have so many awesome recipes for you here on the Cupcake Gemma channel for you to peruse at your leisure. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through another cupcake recipe. It is gonna be for key lime pie cupcakes. We've been making this one here at Crumbs and Doilies for like loads of years <laughs> and in the blueberry cheesecake recipe that me and Dane did a few weeks ago I thought I told you that we'd already done this and it was already sitting here on the channel waiting for you guys but that was a lie I have not showed you guys how to do it so that is what we're gonna do today and this is an awesome cupcake it is just like a key lime pie but it's got a buttery biscuit base and then a really zesty lime cupcake sponge we're gonna fill it with a homemade lime curd and top it all off with a toasted Swiss meringue icing so we've got Got heaps to get on with so we better get our cupcakes in the oven and the first thing we're going to do is make our buttery biscuit base so in this bowl here I've got 175 grams of biscuits which I've crushed up so they're a really fine crumb now I'm using digestive biscuits and um, they're kind of very plain very non-offensive <laughs> and if you're in America then you'd probably use graham crackers um, but yeah, digesters are a really good kind of option here in the UK. And to that, we're going to add some butter, obviously. And I've melted this down, so I've got 50 grams here. I've let it cool down slightly. And I'm just going to add that to my biscuits and give it a mix. Now this is nearly ready, but it's still a little bit too crumbly. So we're going to pull it all together with some golden syrup. So I'm just going to put a little squirt in here and then keep stirring and we want to get this to that kind of wet sand consistency which basically means if you smush it with your spoon or your spatula it will hold its shape but it's not really really wet and if you don't have golden syrup then you can use honey um, or corn syrup I think that's a thing <laughs> honey will obviously give it a little bit of a honey flavor but maybe that's quite nice with this kind of limey cupcake right so let's get this into our cupcake tin so I've lined my tin with some regular cupcake cases and I'm actually going to put a tablespoon measure worth of our biscuit base into each um, cupcake case and I'm going to use this little rolling pin or you can use the back of a spoon just to firmly press down your base into the bottom of the case. And now that's all prepared, we can just leave it to one side whilst we get on with making our cupcake sponge. So it's going to be our standard kind of all-in-one recipe. So I'm going to put all my ingredients in the bowl first, starting with some self-raising flour. I've got 125 grams of that and 125 grams of caster sugar. And we're going to go for a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, just to make sure that we get lots of lovely lifts in our cupcakes. And we'll just sift this through just to get rid of any lumps in the flour. And then we're going to add some butter. So I've got 125 grams again of soft unsalted butter. You can see it's very, very smushy here. That means it's going to mix like much more easily and it's going to whip up to get nice and airy. <laughs> Get all of this in. And then we're gonna add some lime zest because we need these to be limey, of course. So I'm gonna get two limes and my fine grater and I'm gonna zest these straight into the bowl. All right, and lastly, we're gonna add two eggs. Take that, Dane. I'm trying to steal my egg game. Right, anyway. Let's get this on the mixer. So you can do this in a stand mixer like I am, or you can do it with an electric hand whisk, or you can just do it by hand using a wooden spoon and some good old muscle strength. So what we're gonna do first is turn our mixer onto a low speed just to get it combining. Then we're gonna turn it up to a medium speed for about 30 seconds. And now we're gonna add some liquid. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of some lime juice. So I just squeezed the juice from the limes that we just zested. So that's gonna go in along with one tablespoon of some whole milk. And then we're gonna get our mixer going, the same again, slow to start with, and then up to a medium for another 20 to 30 seconds. And we're nearly ready, but what we're gonna do, as always, is give the mixer a little bit of a scrape because sometimes, or all the time, you get bits of butter and unmixed mixture at the bottom of your bowl and on the paddle as well. So a little scrape around and then we're going to mix for another final 20 seconds. 
And that is it. It really is that easy and that quick. So I just scrape all the batter off my paddle so that we don't waste any. And then I'm gonna use some spoons to divide my batter between my cupcake cases. So you wanna fill these about two thirds to three quarters full. And once you've got them as even as possible, it is ready for the oven. So my oven is preheated to 170 degrees C, which is fan assisted. I'll put the non-fan in the description box below because some of you are asking. So check out that, it's along there with all the ingredients. And we're gonna pop these in the oven for around 18 to 20 minutes. So I recommend putting them in for 18 minutes and then giving them the test. So we like to do the little finger test here. We're gonna push the cupcake on top. If it springs back to life, then the cupcakes are baked. If they sink a little bit, then you wanna leave them in the oven for another two or three minutes. Sometimes when you've got the biscuit base, they can take a little bit longer to cook because remember they've got more more kind of heat's got to get through further to get to the cupcake, if that makes any sense at all. You'll see what I mean. Let's get these in the oven. All right, gang, our cupcakes have baked. They look awesome. They smell amazing. I'm trying really hard not to eat one already because now it is time to make the icing. So I'm making the icing right before we decorate these cupcakes because we're gonna be using some Swiss meringue um, and we're gonna toast it like a marshmallow, just like a key lime pie. And this is best done just before you wanna ice your cupcakes. So I wanna put like heaps of icing on these because to me, a key lime pie is piled high with meringue right so I want to replicate that but if you want to go for a little bit less icing then you know fine whatever you do your thing so I have got 660 grams of caster sugar here and as usual with meringue we just want to go for half the amount of egg whites so I've got 330 grams of egg whites so I'm gonna pop both these together and then grab a nice big whisk really give these a proper kind of stir just to combine them and then we'll put it onto our bain-marie. And all we need to do now is keep stirring this with a whisk until the sugar has completely dissolved. And the best way to test that is by rubbing a little bit between your finger and your thumb. So I cannot feel any little grains of sugar, which means this is done. So now I'm gonna very carefully take it off the heat and pour it straight into the bowl of my mixer. And once it's all on, in, on, <laughs> we're gonna put it onto the mixer and we're gonna get this whipping because we wanna whip this until it is completely cooled down so when you touch the bowl it's not hot anymore and the meringue is gonna get really thick and really sticky, it's gonna be lovely and glossy and that is gonna be amazing. It's so beautiful. I wish you could just stand here and watch this, but it might be a slightly long kind of, oh, you wanna do it? Okay, here we go. See, <laughs> right, about five minutes, here we go. And when it's nearly there, we're just gonna add in a little drop of vanilla. It's kind of optional, but I kind of don't think it's optional, to be honest. I'm going for about half a teaspoon in there. We're just gonna whisk that through, and it is ready. Okay, I have to show you this. Ready? <laughs> Whoa. That looks amazing. It's so smooth, it's so glossy, it's kind of fluffy as well. Oh, this is the dream icing. But before we get icing, it's time to prepare our cupcakes. 
and that means we're going to fill them and we need to fill them with some lime curd. So I made this lime curd earlier so that it had time to cool down and set and this is so easy to make. If you've made a lemon curd before it's exactly the same but just with limes instead of lemons. So what I've got here is 65 grams of caster sugar in a heat proof bowl and to that I'm going to add three egg yolks. Remember you can save your egg whites to use for your Swiss meringue icing and then we're also going to whack in a whole egg. We're going to put into this the zest of one fresh lime and 65 mils of lime juice. Give that a really, really good stir together before putting it onto our bain-marie. Now whilst it's on the bain-marie, we're going to keep this moving. We don't need to whisk it or whip it or anything like that. You just want to move it around so that it cooks evenly. And once it's thickened, we're going to take it off the heat and chuck in 50 grams of cold chopped butter. It's really important that it's cold because that's going to help stop the curd from cooking any further. Lastly, you're going to strain it to get rid of any bits of zest or any bits of cooked egg so that it's really, really smooth. And I have actually added a little bit of green food colouring because otherwise it does look like lemon curd and I want this to look like lime curd. And once it's cooled down completely in the fridge, we are left with this. This is the perfect consistency for curd. It is so tasty. I tasted a little bit earlier and it is great. So this is what we're going to fill our cupcakes with. So of course, first we need to cut some holes. So I've got my trusty apple corer here. You can use the end of a piping nozzle if you don't have one of these. We're just going to chomp a hole in each cupcake. And now I'm going to pop my lime curd into this bottle which I'm going to use to squeeze into my cupcakes, but you can definitely do this with a piping bag, either a reusable one or a disposable one. Just pop my lid on. These are really cool though because they're like a really nice small size for filling cupcakes with and also drizzling and you can just wash them and reuse them. Perfect. Anyway, too much chat, not enough lime curd. Right, here we go. Let's fill them right up. Make sure that they're as full as they can be. Okay, stop. Time to do our icing. So I'm gonna pile these with a nice big kind of round emoji poo looking thing. <laughs> so I've got a sort of medium sized round nozzle here. It's the kind that you'd use for a macaron. And I've got my reusable piping bag. And I'm gonna get this incredibly sticky. This might take me a while, okay. You get this really sticky meringue icing out of our bowl and into our piping bag. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's kind of really weird as well because it's so light that it doesn't feel like there's anything in here. Sam, catch. No, kidding. <laughs> right, let's do this. Let's make this the tallest, most epic cupcake. Here we go. We're going to toast it, but I'm going to ice all of these first, so I'll be really quick. love them. I love them so much but I'm about to love them even more because we're going to give them a light-ish. Quite a good toasting with our blow torch. Here we go. Mm <laughs> I love them, they look so awesome and the smell as well when you toast meringue it's like being at a campfire making s'mores, mmm I love it, I'm gonna eat this 
but I'm gonna make such a mess that I might have to like dart off and wipe my face halfway through. <laughs> right, let's pull this open. Oh, look, it's that buttery biscuit base. I'll try and get into the center, but like I said, it's gonna be messy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Are we good? Okay, got the thumbs up from Sam there. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Because mm. the lime sponge and the lime curd are quite tangy, but the sweetness and the smoothness of this toasted Swiss meringue just complements it perfectly. Mm. I didn't even get any of the biscuit base, hang on. Mm. My favorite bit. Love it. These are so, so delicious. And of course, remember to check out all our other cupcake recipes. If cupcakes are your thing, we've got a whole playlist on the channel, along with loads of other recipes as well. So make sure you check them all out. Have a fabulous time baking. Dane and I will be back very soon. I think Dane will be back next with a delicious double decker brownie, which we sell in C&D Soho. And you guys always ask for it. Whenever we post a photo, the new guy is like oozing out of it and it is absolutely gorgeous. So he is bringing that to you very soon from Soho. So until then, have a fabulous time baking. We look forward to baking with you again soon. Mm.